Hello everybody, my name is Alan from Soberlab and today will be another video about TrueNAS. The truth that this video was not uh, in mind to post it or to record until I started to see a comment for one of the persons asking, Alan, can you show how we can sync between uh, my TrueNAS to my cloud? And I didn't know about it until I started to look a little bit more and yes, it's possible and it's quite easy. So in this video, I will show how you can sync your TrueNAS to your cloud. In my case, I'm going to use the Google Drive, but potentially you can use any kind of cloud that it has in the approved list. So if you like this idea and want to learn a little bit more about it, we're going to show in this video. But first of all, don't forget to leave your like, subscribe for the channel and let's see how we can do it. So before we start to show how you can sync your cloud to the TrueNAS, we are gonna show a basic for my system. My system is uh, running TrueNAS 12.0 U7. It's a generic because I get a computer and assembly installed TrueNAS, it's totally fine. In this computer I have four cores, I have eight gigabytes of run, I have two hard drives, each one with 500 gigabytes and they work as a mirror. In the case of one hard drive fail, I will have the second one as a saved and I have a gigabyte network. As well, the IP address for this machine is 192.168.1.38. This temperature in the processing is really low because it's just install machine, so don't have so many things. Okay, here in user part, I have one user, the user that I'm using is Sauber. Here in pools, I have uh, one pool, it's called local storage, your cage is normal names, and that's in this one, I have a, a data set called Sauber Lab. So now I can see what I have in this data set. If I open my SNB, here it's already open. I have my network connected to the same machine, 192.168.1. I have MMT and here I have the Sauber Lab folder with some items. I have some pictures here and a test file. As well, if I come back here and connect it to my Google Drive, I have exactly the same data. So now I can come here and delete all this information, only to be easy for the video. And here it's empty. So I have a folder called TrueNAS where I don't have any information inside. I come here and first thing that we're gonna need to do in our TrueNAS is uh, link our TrueNAS to our Google Drive. To do it, we come here in system and we come in a cloud credential. Here in my cloud credential, I will click and add and now I can add my first credential. So we'll put Google Sauber Lab Drive. Now I can decide which kind of connection that I want I can come here and I decide as a Google Drive, but remember you have Amazon, you have Box, Dropbox, FTP if you want to connect for another machine, as well you have the web dev. This web dev will be used if you want to connect your TrueNAS to your next cloud, so they will have exactly the same information. I come back here and I come for Google Drive. Now I can do a login for my provider. To do it, I can click login. Once that I decide which user that I want, I can come here and put allowed and they will appear all the information here automatically. So now I can put submit. If you're not sure, you can put verify, but in my case, I'm not do it. So now I have my credential create. This credential is important for basically the start. If you don't have the credential, the next step not work. So now I can come here in task and I can create a cloud sync task. This one is more important because you have some options that you can do. To create the credential, it's easy, don't have way to make any mistake. But now we come here in add, we define the name of this sync. So I will put a Sauber Lab, can be any name. And I put credential, I choose that in my Google Drive. If I have a list of credentials, I can choose others. Because I already have a folder here called TrueNAS, I can come here and it's select as a TrueNAS. Now I need to define what kind of uh, direction that I want. If I leave pull, it means that all the information for my Google Drive will pull to my TrueNAS. If I put push, all the information for my TrueNAS will push to the Google Drive. As well, I have some options. You can move, you can copy, and you can sync. If you put move, they will move all the information, delete everything for your TrueNAS if you leave the option push. So they will copy everything, delete, you don't have any information anymore in your TrueNAS. If you have copy, they will be copying, but if you have a file with duplicate name and different size or saving a different time, they will overwrite, so you're gonna lose it. And if you put sync, 
they will sync it. it means that all the information that have your true NAS will be exactly the same in your good drive and vice versa if you put the other option so now i can come to mmt and i select my folder sauber lab where i show that I have some pictures there now it's the time of controller. I can decide how often I want that uh, this backup or this cloud sync happen. If I put once a day, they will pick up or they will sync once a day. To live as hourly is quite tricky because Google Drive only allowed you to upload 750 gigabytes of data. So if you move more than 700 gigabytes of data in a day, this one will not work because everywhere they will do the upload and sync again everywhere sync again and if arrive 750 they stop to sync and maybe you have others update and not finish the day so i will leave daily here i need to put enable in schedule otherwise they will not enable of course here i have some advanced options i can take a snapshot i can uh, follow link i can make some uh, pre script or pause script to look like i want that to do some activity before they do the backup or before they sync you can disclose some items look like I don't want that uh, JPEG will be uploaded there or I don't want that uh, doc or Excel will not be uploaded there. If you put a remote encryption, you have some safety, but you need to remember the key and here is the speed. Suppose that you have uh, 100 megabytes of upload and you don't want to use everything. So you can put here 50, 75, the same thing for the transfer for download. So I can come here and put submit. Once that I finish you submit, I come here in my Google Drive, I don't have any information here, I upload to the page, but I have all these files here. So let's try to sync it first time. I will minimize it and open my TrueNAS, click here and I put run now. They will ask, you are sure that you want to run? Yes, I am sure. I click here and they start to sync. It's now appear running. So if I click running, they will show what they are doing, the speed that they are uploading all the information. So now I can wait it. Once that they finish upload, I can come here my file and all my files or everything it's upload here. If I look here, all the files that's here, now it's exactly the same copy here. Is the idea. Now I will give an idea. Imagine that they finish to upload and I get a virus or I want to recover everything. So I can come here and put hey store and I can define the same one. So hey store Hey store. So I can put hey store, Cyber Lab. I want to sync and I want to be in the same location. So I come here and select this one, put hey store. So there will appear another activity that will be called hey store. Let's come here and delete all these files. Once that I delete, now I don't have anything. And I say, oh my gosh, I lose everything. I come here, my TrueNAS, I have all the items that I have. So I want to recover all this data here. I come here as I create a Red Hay store. I can here and put run and continue. Now the repair running, I can look and they start to do the download of all the information back to my TrueNAS. If I open here and refresh it, they start to copy everything. And then you're gonna ask, you can see everything? Yes, I can see, but I can delete it. Yes, I can delete everything, I can do whatever I want because it's my file. One thing that's in interesting for you as well, you can put as a dry run. So you put dry run and they will simulate that uh, the data is working. Just for you check that the connections work and everything is fine, so you put continue. Task has been started, you put close and they are running. So this running, it's only simulation, they will not properly run, they will not copy everything. They will only simulate that copy because I delete the items, they are running and nothing's there. Only if I put it to run again, they do a full sync. And with this full sync, you can really download it. And you can see the items being created here. So I show how you can do a cloud sync. And some of you will ask, it's a backup? Yes, it's considered a backup because you have exactly the same data in your Google Drive and your TrueNAS. So it's a copy. It's a, You need to have at least three copies. But anyway, you have a copy. It's safe, it's not the best one, because if you have a virus in your computer and you run this task once a day, they will copy this information that have virus in your Google Drive because they don't filter. If you have all the, the file encrypted and over the night, midnight more or less, they will do the backup, all your data that you have in your Google Drive will be subscribed 
for another file that have uh, an encrypted item. So it's not uh, the best one, but yes, it's so something that you can access quite well and you can return it quite well in a fast way. So we work really similar for our sync. They will sync your information for your server to another server. So if you like this video and think that it was interesting, don't forget to leave your like, consider to subscribe for the channel and see you next time. Bye.